Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the five things that I absolutely hate about living in Burlington, Ontario, as well as the five things that I love. So if you're interested in learning more about living in Burlington, Ontario, and wanna learn more about what the pros and cons of actually living there from a local's perspective, then stay tuned. So Burlington, Ontario is routinely ranked as one of the best communities in all of Canada to live and raise a family. But just because it ranks high doesn't mean it will fit well with your lifestyle. So in today's video, I hope to give you a bit more perspective on the true pros and cons of living in Burlington. If you're new here, my name's Matthew. This is my channel where I share everything about what it's like to live from Burlington from a genuine locals perspective. So if you're interested in learning more about what it's like to actually live in Burlington, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss out on any one of my future videos. So other than that, let's just jump on into it and talk about the top five cons that I see when living in Burlington. Now the first major con about living in Burlington, Ontario that you have to understand, especially if you're looking to move here, is the housing affordability. As unfortunately, Burlington isn't one of the most affordable cities to live in as because it has ranked up so many awards over the years, a lot of people want to live in this desirable community and as a result of this increased demand with not much extra supply like anywhere right now in the greater Toronto area real estate market you have higher prices than normal now of course these are all subject as if you're coming from closer to the Toronto core like Toronto or Mississauga Burlington is going to seem relatively cheap however overall Burlington as a whole is 43% higher than the Canadian national average on the housing prices, and they're only 8% higher on the Ontario national averages, helping you to give a bit of an understanding of the premium you're expected to pay if you wanna live in Burlington, Ontario. Now, that's not to say that there's no affordable neighborhoods in Burlington for first-time home buyers, as there are a few neighborhoods that do routinely sell 20 to 30% below the Burlington price point with a mix of different property types. Now, the second major con I've experienced living in Burlington has to be the traffic and there's a couple of reasons for this one is Burlington is set up to be mainly a car dependent city and as a result 80% of its residents rely solely on the car to get around and do their errands or to commute to work and on average during those rush hour peak times you can see 20 to even 40 minutes extra in your commutes and one of the reasons why this is is because the 403 and the QEW passing through Burlington are actually merged together so the biggest bottleneck you see here is around Guelph Line to Branch Street where they merge and disperse depending on which direction you're going and that's where you can find a lot of traffic backing up on the highway and that traffic that backs up on the highway then spills out to all the residential neighborhood streets such as Appleby, Walkers, Guelph, Dundas and more. So a quick tip that sometimes really helps me avoid this rush hour traffic especially on the highway is check out the highway and see if you can go on the north and south service roads as a lot of the time these are underutilized compared to the highway and could easily speed up your commute time from going east to west rather than taking the highway. So the third major con really seen when living in Burlington, Ontario has to be the local public transit and the city of Burlington has even acknowledged its public transit is not the greatest and they're working towards it but until they fix the problems this will remain on the cons of living in Burlington. So like I mentioned the last one 80% of the residents in Burlington commute via car and there's good reason for this. One the buses don't come nearly as often as let's say if you were in Toronto where they come every five to ten minutes in Burlington you can expect the bus routes to come about every 30 minutes with really three main central hubs for the Burlington buses which are the GO train stations all located on the south side of the QEW in South Burlington. So why I mentioned that is because if you're looking to utilize the public transit especially in North Burlington there's a lot of inconveniences I found as sometimes when I'm just trying to go east to west and I live in North Burlington before I would have to travel all the way down to South Burlington to Appleby Go to only find the right bus to then take me east to west increasing my commute time by 30 to 40 minutes using this public transit here. So if you are looking to live in Burlington and want to utilize the public transit and be able to walk around I always suggest looking into more of the southern neighborhoods of Burlington especially around the Burlington Go train stations of either Aldershot Go, Burlington Go or Appleby Go. 
Now the fourth major COD may not be the biggest deal to a lot of people, but for a sports fan like me, it does matter a little bit, and that is Burlington has no professional sports team. Yes, we have a bunch of amateur competitive teams, but no professional sports teams. And that has to be a con. Now it's not to say we don't have a lot within reach, as we do have Toronto, which is just about 40 minutes to an hour drive to all the Toronto sports teams, as well as you have the Hamilton Tiger Cats, the Hamilton Bulldogs, just to the west of Burlington's neighborhood, as well as you get easy access to Buffalo through Niagara Falls, which is about an hour, hour and 20 away. So you can still attend a lot of the sporting events that you enjoy. However, there's no hometown team for you to root for when living in Burlington. Final major con I hear often about Burlington, and one of the major criticisms is Burlington is boring. And typically when people are referring to this, they're usually referring to the nightlife and club scene Burlington has to offer. As if you're comparing it to a larger city like Toronto or even Mississauga for that matter, Burlington is not going to match it. However, Burlington does have a few nice bars and outings that you can do with your friends, whether you want it to be family friendly or adults only. So a few great bars that you could go check out would be Joe's Dogs, uh, The Coop, The Dickens, all located in downtown Burlington. You also have Beer Town up in North Burlington. You also have the Port House right on Lakeshore that really has some events going every Thursday nights, as well as some fun activities like Game Time Social where you can grab a pint and play some of your favorite arcade games. Or if the arcade games are not your thing, you can also check out Splitsville, which is a great spot to offer a wide range of bowling for everybody to enjoy. And one of my new favorites that I'm super excited to try out this year, especially in the winter when I can't get my golf fix, is Far Away Greens. This is an indoor golfing simulator. And there's a bunch of these popping up around Burlington where you can go grab a drink and play a simulated 18 holes all indoors. So those are the five major cons that I really picked up when talking to my friends, family, and my clients when they're looking to move to Burlington, Ontario. Now, two honorable mentions that didn't make the cut, but I think I should mention here is one is the waste management treatment, which is located just on the other side of Burlington Beach. Now, I don't see this being a major con here, as if I didn't tell you in this video here, you probably wouldn't even realize that, as very rarely can you smell what's going on there on the other side of Burlington. Beach, but it's something I wanted to mention. And the other thing has to be Fearman's Pork Factory, as if you're sensitive to animals and you like that vegan lifestyle of no animals, no harm, then this pork factory may be a turnoff for you in some neighborhoods, as routinely you're going to see pigs being trucked in on Appleby Line right around that highway entrance. So something to keep in mind as well. Other than that, let's talk about the reasons why I absolutely love living in Burlington, Ontario. So the very first pro of Burlington has to be the location for several reasons. One, it's only a short commute away, about an hour to 40 minutes, depending on how good the traffic is to Toronto, about an hour to an hour 20, to Niagara Falls, and even to Buffalo itself. So you can easily access all the major cities around, as well as you have Hamilton, Ontario, just located right beside it, which offers a lot of great up and coming restaurants. But not only that, but because Burlington is located right beside Lake Ontario, it also gets the lake effect. And what this means is milder climates for Burlington's residents. Now, don't get me wrong, we're still Canadian, we still get the four seasons. However, you can see a noticeable difference of less snowfall, less rainfall, and more milder climates compared to some other cities like Orangeville, where it's in the snow belt. Now, depending on how close you live to the lake, you'll also see a noticeable uptick in breeze if you're close to the lake as compared to North Burlington. And what's great about North Burlington's location is it's a green belt to the north, allowing a lot of nature preserves and hiking trails for you to enjoy, not to mention Brawny Creek out to the west, which is another conservation area with something like 1,700 acres for you to explore from campfires to outdoor ice rinks in the winter to a disc golf and even more activities. Now the second major pro, and probably the thing that Burlington is best known for, which is its safety it offers its residents. As overall, Burlington's crime rate is 60% low, the national average ranking it among the 90 percentile routinely in the safest cities across Canada. And not to mention, Burlington's residents as a whole don't commit a lot of crimes, not only with this crime statistic, but a lot of the crime you do see in Burlington actually comes from residents coming from Hamilton, 
Sorry to people that live in Hamilton, but this is typically the, where the statistics show a lot of the criminals come from that increase Burlington's crime rate. Now, of course, these statistics can change, so I'll make sure to leave a link in the description of Halton's police maps so you can get the most up-to-date knowledge and research when deciding where you want to live. Now, while Burlington did lack on the public transportation within its city, Burlington does do a great job offering its residents public transit between cities. With the three Burlington GO train stations located on the south side of the QEW, like I mentioned, with a train coming every 30 minutes to each of these stations going to Union Station. And there was actually just recently announced that they'll be continuing this train further west out to London, Ontario. So soon from Burlington's GO trains, you'll be able to go all the way out from London, Ontario to Union Station to even out to Oshawa. Now besides the GO train stations, Burlington also offers a wide variety of different carpool lots located around a busy area. So there's one located in Dundas, there's one located right on the Guelph Line Highway entrance where the 403 and the QEW split going to Niagara or Hamilton. And there's also a few up in rural Burlington right around the 407 making it easy for you to carpool with your colleagues to work. Oh one thing I should mention here though is Burlington is super easy to travel with a car as Burlington is really set up in a beautiful grid system so it's super easy and straightforward for you to get around so there's no one-way roads like Hamilton or a bunch of windy main roads where some connect some don't connect like in Oakville. Burlington's super easy and straightforward to navigate with a car. And because of that, it offers 11 different highway entrance points, all easily accessible to you when driving and trying to get around from city to city. Now the next major pro that I can tell you all Burlington residents love and enjoy to utilize is all the landscape, green spaces, and parks Burlington has to offer. And to be precise, there's 113 different unique parks that offer a wide variety of something for everybody. Whether you want to walk your dog on the beach, or maybe out in the forest back on the trails, or you can also have a wide variety of different sporting fields for you to capitalize on. And one thing that Burlington has done very well recently is adding a lot of different splash pads and other activities also in the parks. As like I mentioned, Burlington is in a great location as not only does it have those 113 parks located within its borders, it also has access to Brawny Creek just on the other side of Burl Oak and Upper Middle roughly where you get access two camping grounds, five great hiking trails centered around a 50 meter deep ravine, a turn out of the century spruce lane, farmhouse, and even more great activities year around for you to enjoy with the family. Then, like I mentioned, you have the green belt out to the north offering beautiful trails, especially one of my favorites as Mount Nemo, or you can even go a little bit more north to Rattlesnake Point offering some great trails to either go walking with a date or to just go walking with your dog. And there's also two major bike path trails that run along the hydro lines within Burlington. One running really east to west from Burl Oak to downtown Burlington and the other one running from Millcroft all the way down to Brant Street offering you a great access to wide open bike paths for you to enjoy whether you want to skateboard, roller bay, or bike. And finally one of the things that Burlington definitely is underrated on is its Burlington Beach. So Burlington Beach is a pretty pristine beach that is usually pretty good to swim in. There are some times where there's problems with algae and they'll let you know when not to swim in it. But for the most time, it's a great spot to go and enjoy a Sunday or Saturday afternoon. And you can even rent out different water activities like paddleboard, kayaking, canoeing, and sea dews and more to enjoy your time at the beach. And the final major pro about living in Burlington that a lot of young parents love to see is the strong school system Burlington has offered. As it doesn't matter what school you go to, you're going to find a school that is going to routinely outperform the Ontario and national averages in the standardized testing like EQAO or the literacy test. So overall for elementary schools, Burlington offers 27 public elementary schools, 
14 Catholic elementary schools, and then for high schools, it offers seven public high schools and four Catholic high schools. So if you're interested in learning more about what the truly best schools in Burlington are, make sure you hit the subscribe button as I'll be releasing a video soon. And if it's already out, you'll find it here, going over and comparing each of the Burlington schools and how they rated on the Fraser Institute, which is a standardized testing and ranking for all schools, Ontario and Canada wide. Now, other than elementary and high High schools, there's also a lot of post-secondary schools located around Burlington. You have Sheridan College located just in Oakville, as well as Mohawk College located in Hamilton, as well as McMaster's University located in Hamilton with its DeGroote School of Business, where it's where you get the Masters in Business located actually in Burlington, just on the North Service Road. So those are the five major pros that I see a lot of residents loving about living in Burlington, Ontario. And like the cons, there's two honorable mentions I quickly want to mention here that didn't make the cut. And the first one has to be the property taxes. And at the moment of recording this, Burlington's property taxes is 0.76, which is slightly higher than Oakville's property taxes. However, significantly less than Hamilton's property taxes. So definitely something to at least keep in mind, depending on which areas you want to shop in. As Burlington was rated 8th out of 34 cities for the best property tax in Ontario. And the second pro that didn't make the cut, and this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love working as a realtor in Burlington, is it has 21 unique neighborhoods with their own feel and style. So there's a lot of different variety of options, and I'm sure there's one that's great for you and matches the lifestyle you're looking to live in. So if you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you better understand the pros and cons of living in Burlington, Ontario, make sure to smash the like button as it truly does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested in learning more about which neighborhood may be best for you, you can find my video right here where I go over the best neighborhoods in Burlington. Other than that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you don't want to miss out on any one of my Burlington videos. And as always, if you're looking to buy, sell, or just want a personal recommendation in Burlington, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. I'd be happy to help you out with whatever you need. Other than that, I hope you have a great and successful week.